one person that's already here to watch. Um, I am making the small Valora bag. This is my own pattern. I do have a video tutorial going more in depth on how to sew it, but we're just gonna run through it while dinner is cooking. I'm gonna start by adding purse feet and a magnetic snap. Snap. Just to kind of get my hardware pieces out of the way. Hi, Aslin. I would forget something. Thanks. I got a new curling iron and I tried it out today. It's kind of awesome. Okay. Hello, Kimmy. I'm so glad that your bag arrived safely and that you love it. Four and a half. Probably should use the pattern markings for this, but whatever. Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna kind of run through making this bag. I am making the Valora bag. This is my own pattern, but it is available to purchase. I'm making the small size, which is my preferred size of the bag. Um, that and it's pretty quick. Hi, Sarah, two for two, yeah. Oh. All right, so I am starting off by adding my magnetic snaps. Um, I did mention when I made a tutorial that um, I would probably change up the order if I made it again, just because when you're writing it as a pattern, it needs to be concise and in order, but when you're sewing it production style, it can kind of be however you need it to be. So yeah, we're just gonna try and see not how quickly we can make it, but to get it done. Checking my snaps are attached. They look good. Oh, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> okay. Adding purse feet along the bottom. Bottom is nine inches, so one, two, three, four and a half. And then the center of that. <laughs> yeah, I wish Dorothy was letting me sleep. She's doing her best, that's all I can say. And her best is up every two hours. I'm dying inside. No, it's fine. Uh, we are making the small Valora. This is a pattern by me. Um, I just finished filming the Zaneda backpack from Aura Rosa. Um, that tutorial will be up probably next weekend. Oh, sleep regressions are the worst. We had a three month one and now this is week two of a six month sleep regression, I guess. It's fine. Luckily, CJ has been taken over for this weekend because I, I gotta work <laughs> and I just need a break. <laughs> hey, Alyssa. Okay, so attaching those. 
Um, I always like to get my hardware out of the way first if I can. Oh, I also got my replacement Aliso iron. I saw um, Kira received hers in the mail finally. I'm so, so happy to have it back. Um, I know that a lot of people have had issues with the Aliso irons and they're not, I don't know. Are they worth the money? I don't know. I love mine though. Would I buy it again? I mean, yes, unfortunately I would, but I know that it has issues. Anyway, so I just added duct tape to the bottom over the purse feet to protect my hands when we sew it all together. I'm gonna really quick iron my zippers. Oh, yeah, so true. Oh, that's exciting. Oh. That beautiful steam. Okay, we'll add the zipper pulls. start with my lining just to get that done I'm not adding the exterior slip pocket just because the print I'm using I didn't have enough to like fussy cut a pocket or anything like that so why try so there's my lining pieces zipper pocket Bottom, zipper panel, zipper pocket, zipper panel. There we go. We'll start with all that for now. All right. So I'm gonna top stitch my zipper pocket. Turn on my sewing machine, that might help. Why do you need to make baby clothes? Hey, it's sewing. It's a skill. It's fun. Why not? Okay, I'm just gonna sew a second time. So I'm kind of making some bags as prep for um, the Geek Craft Expo in St. Louis that is in July. So yesterday I cut out five bags <clears throat> and I'm going to just try and slowly sew them over the week and hope that I can get some done. Ben was hanging out with me while I was filming earlier, but he is now gone. I don't know where he went. Hello, Shayna. How was your sleep last night? Not great. What sleep? All right, so this little bag gets a six inch zippered pocket. Mark that out. I mean, it looks like I had sleep, but that's makeup and espresso. Who needs sleep if you have those two things, am I right? Uh, 
Um, I am using cotton fabric for the exterior main panels and I've interfaced it with um, the Sew Fuse Plus and there is a company called Royal Pixie Custom Fabrics and they are also carrying a stabilizer very similar to it. It feels almost identical, so if you have been wanting to try it, I think they'll be carrying it soon. Oh, you're welcome, Kathy. Yeah, a couple of the orders that went out last week, we included some of the new zipper tape little scrap pieces. Hi, Sharon. Any machine embroidery ladies? Yeah, that's awesome. Dorothy was doing a really great job of sleeping through the night, so I don't... I don't know. I mean, like, we finally got it. A good schedule and stuff, but... Oh, well, it is what it is. I'm gonna try and not dwell on what I could have and just focus on what I do have. <laughs> Add the other side of that. my lower lining panels. So now I need to work on my zipper. Um, the Oliso irons, I believe they're on Amazon. If not, they're on the Oliso website, I think. However, there have been many issues with them. I'm just throwing that out. Oh, thank you, Shayna. <laughs> Okay. Uh, we are making the small Valora bag. And like, I knew picking that name was a choice. Um, and it's made me giggle when I get emails about the Valero bag. <laughs> which I think is a gas station. I don't know. It's funny. I know it, it's either a typo or something. I mean, how many times have I mispronounced a pattern name? I don't care. It's just, it makes me giggle. Um, I don't know if there are any expos in Nashville. I'm just close to St. Louis and I signed up for this a while ago. Oh, exciting. Um, Bingham Bliss said I'm new to your channel and I'm excited to see what you make. I sew baby clothing. Den Jackson made my first bag the other day, spent more time ripping stitches out and wasted so much material. It was hard. Very true. Um, so magical. I have my Valora pattern cut out. Finally have to make my Vizzy first and two peekaboos. Yes. Oh, Karina says she wants to make this bag, but has to rest her shoulder a little bit. 
totally understand that sewing is definitely a physical task. <gasps> Um, I am just using all waterproof canvas for the lining of this bag. So even my zipper panel is just waterproof canvas. Okay, so I'm going to start with my zipper, folding it at an angle, laying it right sides together. And I'm going to baste it in place. I really want to make this bag in leather and um, hand paint on the leather. I just haven't had time, of course. down all the little threads. I paused your Juki video the other day and finally read what's in the brown frame on your wall. Oh yeah, um, my friend, oh, my brain is so fried. Connie is the mom and I'm so sorry. I can't think of it. <laughs> Ah, I feel so bad right now. Um, please blame that on sleep, lack of sleep. Um, but yeah, someone made that for me because anytime I used to do a live, they'd be like, these were all the questions they would ask. So, uh, the clips that I'm using are available on my website, but they're also just hair clips. Why can't I remember names? She made me so much stuff. I feel like I need to look through my messages right now. Um, no, I do not have my Juki service. You probably should, yeah. Um, but I, it's not something I've ever had done. Um, I've changed the oil and the belt myself. cosmetology yeah their hair clips okay you guys please hold on I need to look up her name even though I know it and I feel so bad so hold on please it was on, like it was on the tip of my tongue Cindy made that for me okay so we're adding the other side of the zipper now. Uh, Wilma, all we've done is add a slip pocket and a zippered pocket. We haven't done too much. What's kind of nice about using the same fabric for the lining and exterior right now, or I should say both sides of the zipper panel, is like you don't need to worry about which one goes where. I'm just throwing caution to the wind. Um, Pamela said, I'm trying to decide between a sewing machine or an embroidery sewing machine combo. Um, 
So there's pros and cons. Obviously having both together would be nice because then you only buy one machine. However, um, I've heard like if one part of the machine breaks, it can all break. And if you were wanting to embroider and sew at the same time, now you can't. So I'm no help there. Hi, Vita. Hi, Mopsy. Okay, let me straighten this back out. And top stitch. Okay, so now I'm snipping the center. And then I'm going to add that to my main panels, my lower lining panels. Okay, zippers in the same direction. And then add the upper lining panel. Half inch seam allowance. I changed the way this bag was sewn before releasing it. So in my head right now, I'm like, which way am I doing this right? Am I doing this right? I'm doing it right. It's fine. Don't worry. I'm just basically starting at the end and working my way backwards. Oh, the title is funny, thank you. Happy to be of some entertainment. Okay, so that is my lining halfway finished go ahead and completely finish it by grabbing my side panels and my bottom panel and then the side panels I need to measure one inch from the top edge and then half an inch along the bottom edge And then we're going to fold that top edge over to meet. My one inch line. Okay, 
Um, Double-sided tape brand that I use is from waywack.com. Okay, so to finish the lining, we're going to line up the bottom edge. Um, the waterproof canvas, I get it from FWD Fabrics, but they also sell it on Amazon. Um, and I've heard they sell it at Walmart. All right, I'm gonna start at the top edge using a half inch seam allowance. And then when I get to that one inch or that half inch mark at the bottom, I'm gonna stop. And then trim all of my extra threads. Just gonna repeat that on all four sides until all of them are connected. So line it up on the bottom. And this time I'm starting at the bottom, so I'm gonna start half an inch up and half an inch from the side edge. How much is a machine like this? Um, I think I spent um, twelve or fourteen hundred a few years ago to purchase this machine. Um, and I've had it for five or six years now. I definitely wouldn't be able to make bags without it. I love it so much. Whoa, whack. <laughs> it cost me $1,700 Canadian with taxes last month. That, that sounds right. Um, this, the interior of this bag is all waterproof canvas, but the exterior is vinyl and a cotton print. I just, um, finishing up the lining first. Just to get it out of the way, just to be done with it. Okay, so... Just gonna check, everything's properly attached. Yes, yes. Okay, we're gonna add the bottom panel. Hi Pamela, Joann's. Yeah, you have to, yeah, space is hard. Um, I remember my husband and I, we shared a little hobby space. It was a bedroom in our tiny little house. Um, and uh, there was no way I had room for my other machines and this. And so um, we moved it around and he was like, just get it, just do it. I'm tired of hearing you cursing when you're sewing your bags. I was like, it's fair. All right, so starting half an inch from one side, using a half an inch seam allowance, and then stopping half an inch. We're mostly chatting instead of learning how to make this bag. There's better tutorials. I got the 1181 in Richmond Hill, Ontario. Nice. I ordered mine off of Amazon a million years ago. There weren't really any dealers being discussed in the sewing groups at that time. So I was just like, I'll go with Amazon. <laughs> Why not? So now that I've got this, um, a regular machine absolutely can make bags, but um, you're just gonna have limitations, but yeah, you absolutely can. Yep, 
yeah, just not all of them. That's very well put. It can't make all bags. And it depends on like what kind of interfacing and materials you want to use. So I'm just going to kind of trim up the corners of this bag. Um, Steve with Sewing Gold is definitely a good seller. Um, I've met him in person and honestly would have purchased from him had I known that he existed at the time. Um, Sarah says, I use a domestic and I go pretty hard on it, but it's still with me. Yeah. is the lining of the small Valora bag finished. I'm gonna fully unzip it. And what I still need to do is fold over these side edges. Uh, Creole and Cajun Living said, hello, I came to show some love and thank you for all your time you put into helping those of us whom have never attempted to make bags. Happy to help. Sewing Gold is based out of Chicago. All right, so I measured one inch from the side edge and I'm folding the raw edge of the top over to meet it. So it's being folded over half an inch. But you mark out the one inch so that you can actually see where to fold to versus marking out the half inch and not being sure where, where it is. Um, and I think if you're making it this way, you could honestly use the double-sided tape because you're not going to unfold it now. Um, it just depends on your machine's limitations. Oh, you're outside Chicago? Yeah. Sewing gold, Steve. He's awesome. I'm not sure if they're allowing people to come in to try out machines because of COVID. Um, but I went with my friend Tracy. So if you guys have seen my video about like which industrial is right for you, we filmed that in Chicago at his shop. Okay. There's my lining finished. Just gonna set that aside and we'll work on the exterior. Yeah, here's my exterior print. So I'll go ahead and start with my side panels. This holographic vinyl that I'm using is from Bodio. Party of the party. <laughs> oh, hey, Kira. I'm not sure if you saw, but I, I did get my Aliso replacement. It came Thursday. Hi, has yours been working for you pretty well? Oh, Amanda said you can go try them at Sewing Gold. One of my favorite... <laughs> moments that I can remember is like walking in with Tracy and he thought Lauren was her and not me just because I was younger I guess and he's like oh you're younger than I expected <laughs> uh yes zipper pulls are in stock on my website they're under um zipper pulls and zipper tape 
There just is no zipper tape in stock at the moment. Um, we have one print of zipper tape releasing um, April 29th. Yes, that new electronic smell. Mine definitely has a bit of an odor too. But I'm so glad not to have that auto shut off after 15 minutes anymore. So there's a lower model that shuts off at 15 minutes and then there's a higher model that shuts off at 30 minutes. Hi, Christine. The onesie fit her so good. <laughs> Ugh, I know, I hope it doesn't break for either of our sake. <laughs> okay, six and a half, I think that seems right. Who do you make the bags for? Um, I sell them on my website and at conventions. Um, I do custom orders here and there, but currently I'm not like accepting them. <laughs> Sewing the trash bag you had on the video. Oh, very cool. I need to do another video on that, especially like a cutting one out because I get so many messages about the pattern not printing correctly. When in reality, it's just a single page. And I think people are just so used to patterns being like multiple pages and a pattern piece for everything. Oh, look at that vinyl. Um, but yeah, it's just mostly measurements. Ooh, I'm so excited. Okay. We're almost done. Not really, but we're getting there. So I haven't made a Valora small size to sell, but I think this one will probably be around 80. Um, just because it, it's probably only going to take me like an hour and some change. And I didn't add like a bunch of slip pockets or hardware. We'll add a rivet to that piece really quick though. Oh, thank you, Margaret. If I miss a question, I do apologize and I hope you'll ask again. Hi Lauren, I have watched so many of your videos and some several times. I would also like to comment on something you said, Lauren. It doesn't matter what you say anymore. <laughs> yeah, people will take offense to what they want to take offense to. That's true, that's true. Oh man. Um, Corinne said that the iron is out of stock on Amazon and it's possible it's because they're sending out replacements because there were so many issues. So let's hope they've got their stuff figured out and that they don't need to send replacements anymore because this is my second replacement. I need labels and metal tags. Um, well, I don't have any recommendations for woven, woven labels. Am I even saying words? Yes. I have done a video on them. Okay, so we've got our one inch lines marked over here. So I can add the double sided tape to the top. And then fold it over.
to meet that line. Nice to meet you, line. Okay. And then I just need to do the handles. bag is a lot of double-sided tape and a lot of half-inch measurements. Hi, Annie. Uh, we are working on the small Valora. like an iron that has a shut off just because I like that I can just leave it plugged in which I know is a bad idea and if I'm going to be out of the basement or not sewing for a long period of time I do unplug it but um, the Aliso is great because it has those it lifts itself up so you can leave it down so it's really, really helped my wrist, especially when working on a ton of bags at once or like working on zipper pouches and stuff like that. It's been super helpful. Okay, handles. Oh, thank you. All right, measuring three inches up. On either side, that's where we're going to start and stop our stitch lines. Carol said, I just want to say you inspire me to make bags. Oh, I'm so happy. I like that where I plug my iron in, it has a timer for an hour, so it shuts off if I forget. Oh, that's so good. How do you get any sewing done with a baby? A very wonderful husband. <laughs> Who understands that it's my job. I'm like, you get to go work, so this is me working, okay? Bye. Bye. Has anyone made the Monroe bag from uh, Lynn's Handmade? That's her new pattern that's out. It's gorgeous. Last time I was there. I have a Silver Star Gravity Feed Iron. Oh, very cool. Um, I definitely have heard about like the reliable steam irons and gravity feed irons, like how those are better. And I believe that. <laughs> um, the next Valora I'm gonna make, I'm making out of leather. And I wanna take the time to edge coat this part of the handles. Um, yeah, Kira, it's not pink. That is a big issue. <laughs> uh, love your videos. Is the double-sided tape specifically for vinyl and leather? Can you sew through it without the needle becoming sticky? It is double-sided leather tape, but it can gum up your needle. Hi, Joni. I've been subbed to your channel for at least a year. First time saying hi. Always say hi. Don't be a lurker. No, I'm kidding. You can lurk. I'll show you guys the bags I have cut out because I'm really excited. And that might be the accountability I need to get them done. Um, it's one Erica Bowler bag, which I know I'll be able to get done pretty quick. 
and a large Valora, and then another small Valora. Yeah, that's three. I was like, wait, math, what? What's kind of interesting um, about returning to craft shows is I wonder how much people's needs have changed. Like I used to sell a lot of Emily totes and larger bags and I'm wondering if now it's going to be a lot of small bags just because people aren't going out for as long a periods of time. Maybe they just need a small little bag. I don't know. Be interesting to find out. Okay, so I'm just trimming the back side of the handle to be even with the front. And then I'm adding double sided tape to the back of the handle. And then I'm going to grab my main panel here. And I think it's one inch from the side. Maybe, no, it's an inch and a half. One inch doesn't make sense. Yeah, one inch, inch and a half. Oh, that's gonna look so good. I want normal again. Yeah, I totally agree. Normal and safe. All right, placing the handle three inches down from the top, and one and a half inch from the side. Oh, it's so cute. Get out of here. What's funny is I only carry my phone with my cards in it. Never been much of a bag person, but now I make them. Yeah, I, when I was in like high school and stuff, I hated carrying a bag. <sighs> and now I make them. <laughs> and I just see them as like usable art, functional art. Heart. Um, but yeah. Oh, that's. Oh, it's still gonna work. Okay, great. Okay, can't forget to add a nameplate either. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, the main print is my own design. I mean, it's Star Wars, so it's not that much my own design, but I put it together myself. I did it myself. All right. we'll be able to finish this bag 
think if nothing else, I'll be able to get the lining inserted and then I'll just top stitch it later. Oh, so interfacing, I used um, the So Fuse Plus. And honestly, I, I could see myself using it in place of Decaville Light. I don't believe that it has like the same feeling. Dinner's ready? Dinner will be ready in like five minutes. Okay, perfect, I'll be there. Just say my name, and I'll be there. Okay. It's stuck in your head now. Um, but yeah, I could see myself reaching for it in place of Deck of the Light to conserve it. So if you have trouble finding Deck of the Light, you may want to just try the So Fuse Plus. Um, it's from Castine Crafted. She has a YouTube channel as well. Um, and then I think I mentioned it earlier, but it might have just been in a tutorial. Um, Royal Pixie Custom Fabrics will be carrying it soon as well. Something very, very similar. nameplate added. I'm going to add it on this side just because I feel like, well, I can add it a little lower on the front panel here. So we'll do that. Yeah, that'll look good. Um, the thread I order is from Sunny Sewing Machines. It's also another, um, machine distributor, sewing machine. And um, I do have a workshop with them that we've, uh, my friend Anne has planned. So fingers crossed that's happening in um, September of this year. State of the world willing. <laughs> So let's go ahead and add the panels now. I'm going to mark out my half inch seam allowance just in case.
good night, Karinas. change my bobbin, I'm not sure. All right, before I add the bottom panel, I'm gonna go ahead and mark my one inch side. Probably should do this before you even like get to your machine, might help, but. I'm glad you mentioned that. Uh, the FedEx International Ground. Um, we've got that set up now, and I'm pretty sure we're good. We're golden. So it's $18 or $20 if the cost of your... The value of your order is under 200 and it's under 10 pounds. So if you are in Canada and you like using FedEx, that's definitely a better option because the way they have it set up is um, you guys don't really pay any import fees on top of that shipping. Um, so if you're interested in trying it, you know, just saying. Ooh. Yeah, I was really excited they reached out. It had, it's been a bit of a pain in the butt but um, it's been okay. We're finally getting it figured out. Okay, so attaching the bottom panel. Yeah, so t-shirts, I'm going to go ahead and stock Wednesday the 21st. So that's this Wednesday, I think, um, because I have notebooks and new pens arriving that day. So I figure we'll just make it all the merch at once instead of people having to place separate orders or something like that. So I'll definitely let you guys know what time. Because it'll just depend on if they even arrive, you know. In time. Coming down those corners. You really don't want to trim any other part of the seam allowance, just like the bottom and the corners. Otherwise it makes it harder to kind of put together. Then you fold everything down, put your lining right side out. And then line up the tops. And 
you want to keep your side edges folded. So yeah, at least when I get this part attached and then I'll have to go. Thought I could finish it, but I was chatting too much. Okay. Half inch seam allowance along the top. So now I will flip it. And you push your lining inside. Hi, Deanne. All right. So on these edges, you fold your seam allowance in towards the main panel. That interfacing feels really nice. And again, that was the So Fuse Plus, and that's it on this um, cotton canvas. And one of the testers used double sided tape along the side panel to help hold that in place, too. So you definitely could do that as well. kind of fold everything to line it up. Flip along the top, etc. So hopefully you guys saw like it comes together pretty quickly. I mean this is the fifth time I've made this bag. Maybe I did two, three, I don't know. I've made it quite a few times, but. They better not be eating dinner without me. I wouldn't blame them. pro by now for sure. Oh hey! Hey Benny! Alright. 
So then you just top stitch the bag, but it's so cute. Oh, lol. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. All right, I'll finish it later. Let me show you the other one really quick though, because it's really funny. Okay, so here's the one I finished earlier. Um, and here's the other one I'm making. <laughs> and this is the leather. I'm gonna say it's Jeff Goldblum's eye color. But anyway, um, thank you guys for hanging out for a little bit. I will see you guys later, bye.